So I wanted to read to you something first. Um, this, is a, this is a quote um, from a friend of mine who's going through some rough stuff right now on Facebook. And he posted this on Facebook. He said, if you're struggling with uncertainty, recondition your perception, learn to view adversity in a positive manner and change it from something bad to something good. The experiences you have had, the knowledge and wisdom you've gained from the maybe what someone else needs today, utilize all that you have to encourage others. Use your adversity, your fears, your pain, whatever you have been carrying on your shoulders to put a smile on someone's face to brighten their day. All it takes is for us to demonstrate our strength and courage to overcome to prove to others that they can do the same, that they also have the strength and courage to overcome their own battles. All it takes is you to add positive encouragement to the life of someone else who needs it. I challenge you today to look around and see if there's anyone around you that needs some encouragement this day. Have faith in yourself and the courage to just take a few moments to talk to that person. It could change their life. Coming from a person who's going through some really hard stuff right now. So this is Angela Taylor with Taylor Homestead Soap. Um, today is a super simple recipe. Almost anybody can do it. Ready? It's olive oil straight out of the bottle, lye, aloe vera, and activated charcoal. That's it. So easy, y'all. So easy. In fact, if I was starting over again with the soap, soap making thing, this is what I would start with because it's just easy. So, and it takes a super short amount of time. Now, normally olive oil soap um, will take forever to set up, like six weeks. I mean, something crazy, eight weeks even. But because of the aloe vera and the activated charcoal, this sat up in like 36 hours, something like that. And I had to cut it because it was too, almost too hard to cut. And you'll see in the video, I had to cut it with a knife because it was too hard to cut with my wire cutter. So if you like what you see, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, please. And um, leave a comment below. Have a good day. Thanks. I do want to excuse something. My dog is barking in the background when I am cutting the soap. I do apologize for that. It's kind of in a hurry, and she is, um, Emmy's kind of needy. I don't know if you've caught on to that or not, but she wants to be in your lap or on top of you. In fact, she's sitting right here, right now. She's right, she's right there. Because she has to be with you all the time. And so, we're still going through potty training, and I was like, you're going outside, and you're staying there, and you're going to the bathroom. And so, she's not happy. So, I do apologize for the barking in the background as I'm cutting the soap. Okay, I'm making a simple, simple soap today. This is going to be a aloe vera and activated charcoal facial soap. There are three ingredients in this soap today. You're looking at the olive oil. There's aloe vera and activated charcoal and lye, and that's it. So I'm looking at here, I've got one of these, these do hookies, this is cool. 78 degrees, 77 degrees-ish and lye water was about 90. So, since this is a pretty simple, simple thing, all I'm gonna do next is put the activated charcoal directly into my oils. All right, here goes my lye water. This is this is the aloe vera juice with lye water in it. So I don't have any water in this it's aloe vera juice and I put it in here, that's why it's got, it's yellow. But it's aloe vera. recipe anybody could do this I make this for people who um, are allergic to shea butter they can have this I had one lady buy this just for a body soap one time um, at a show that I was doing super easy and then all you do is pour it into my three pound mold Then I'm just gonna do scrape scrapes into the mold. Super easy. Olive oil, aloe vera, 
activated charcoal and lye. And after about 48 hours, the lye component is no longer in there because it's done its job in the saponification process and has made the soap and then kind of disappears. Um, Angela Gent bought the last bars of soap when she came in. She bought a bunch. Guys, I made, I think that body butter batch made nine by downstar. She bought six of them. Oh, I was like, wow. So you may be getting another body butter or something or other. Because my body butter, I have three left. So I soap out on a porch and today's temp is about 90 degrees. Um, I ran the fan in here. I've got um, a little uh, like room temperature fan going on and it's still just hot, hot, hot in here. All right, I'm going to bang it down and I'll bring you back for the cutting of the soap. Um, it's interesting, the last time I did this, um, I anticipated this taking weeks to I anticipated this taking weeks to set up because it's um, olive oil and I guess the activated charcoal and the aloe vera um, made it set up and it was it was like 24 hours later and I had to cut it or I would not have been able to cut through it. So there it is. Facial soap, activated facial soap, that easy. We were at the cutting of the soap. You see I have a different cutter here. The soap this soap is extremely hard. It would break my wire cutter if I was to use that on it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this big old knife. Um, and my dog is barking, she sees me. And I'm just gonna cut this soap up. Again, this is such a simple soap, guys. If this is, you know, if I was starting the soap making, this is the one I would make. Good for your skin, easy recipe. Just it's just a uh, it's just so easy. So yeah, look at that. Woo, not real pretty. It's just black soap, folks. Again, this is 100% olive oil, and this is hard to cut. Usually, an olive oil soap would take like eight weeks. See, to cure. Um, but because of the aloe vera and the activated charcoal in it. Uh, this is day, let's see, this is day two. So I didn't cut, I made it on Monday and today is a Wednesday. So, and it's it's still pretty uh, tough to get through. It would break my wire cutter. So I had an adventure today. I went to mow my grass and we live on about an acre lot. So we have a riding lawnmower and I get out into the middle yard and it just stops. It's running but it won't go forward. So right now, it's sitting outside with the threat of rain. <laughs> and I've got to figure out, my husband is not home, so I have got to figure out how to get it <laughs> up the yard. So, hmm, or at least get it least get it into the uh, garage so it doesn't get rained on. So my favorite neighbor, Mr. Glenn next door is going to come over at nine o'clock tonight and see if he can help me get it at least out of the yard. Um, it starts just fine, but it won't go. Oh, the life. See, look at that. This is the only soap I have to cut like this. <laughs> All my other soaps I get to cut with a wire cutter. All right, again, if you like what you see, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the Taylor Homestead Soap Channel. Ignore the dog. And give me a comment. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. There the noisy pup is. There she is. We've got a yard for her, but it's it's kind of cluttered with weeds right now. So we got to clean that out or move the cattle panel fencing. So for now, this is our solution. She's not out here for very long. She just doesn't like it out here. I don't like it out here. I want to be with my family. But I have to stop pooping and peeing on mommy's floor. 
Yes, I do.